look at the color. Susan! Ugh! Hi guys, it's the, oh, oh, hoodie, you is acting up, girl. Hi guys, it's your girl, Jackie O. Welcome back to my channel. Jacket, 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 I was totally inspired by a young lady that follows me on Twitter. I'm gonna shout her out real quick because she had this really cute galaxy inspired look, girl. Lindy, AKA keep our faith on Twitter. And I just felt like doing something fun and colorful. So shout out to you, Lindy girl, because your look was really popping. We're not gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna tweak it a little bit. You know, it's kind of loosely based, but I did really like your look. Thank you for tweeting me, shout out to you girl. I like sometimes incorporating a little bit of skincare before makeup tutorials. I will be doing that more often. It could be masks, it could be whatever you want, just tell me. Just let me know, holla at your girl. This video is gonna be done in partnership with Olay. Today I'm gonna be featuring their Olay daily facials anytime, and I 100% say this with confidence, anytime I'm not familiar with the product, I test it out first before I give you guys the thumbs up or the thumbs down, especially when I'm partnering with a brand. And I do have to tell you, I've been testing these out for about a week and a half now, two weeks. I tested it out to make sure it didn't break me out. There was no reactions, it didn't dry my skin out, it tested well with removing makeup and on my bare skin. You know, I put it through different types of conditions and I really like this product. So today I'm gonna be demoing these and showing you guys how to get this fun, galaxy inspired, fun makeup look. I'm all cozy in my robe cause I may or may not be going anywhere. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Before we get started on the tutorial, be sure you are a part of the Jackie Anna family. We don't want you to miss out on the tips, okay? On the key tools, on the keys to success. Just do yourself a favor and subscribe. If you're not subscribed in 2018 and you're watching my videos, I know some of y'all are out there, okay? We're judging and we're coming for all of you, okay? Okay, so I have not washed my face today. I am nice and oily. So the way that these wipes work is they are dry. They are a dry wipe. So you take it out and you get 33 dry cloths. The reason why I'm in love with the fact that these are dry is the fact that I travel. There are certain things that I pack that I just know, or at least I'm just like, automatically more paranoid that they are going to spill. It's usually my face wash, it's usually my toner. I love the fact that I don't have to worry about these because they're dry and because they have this kind of like weave texture, they also exfoliate. So what you do is you just put these under the faucet and get them wet and once you wet it, it activates the cleansing power and just, you know, do what it do what it do. So let me go wet this and I'll go be right back and I'll talk more a little bit about why I really like these. So I'm usually a three-step cleaner. What I mean by that is I usually pre-cleanse with like a cleansing balm, cleansing oil, a face wash, and then I will follow all that up with like a micellar water. I notice that usually when I use these, I don't have to go in as much after face wash like I normally would with micellar water, especially after like a full day of wearing makeup. So to really, really make sure I get all the makeup wipe after I wash my face, I usually go through about like three cleansing pads of micellar water to make sure like all the makeup is really off. But when I use these, I don't really have to do that as much. So you know, yay for the environment, using less, you know, paper and you know, trying to decrease my carbon footprint, <laughs> whatever. So this is like a little mini, and I like these because these are like literally scrubbing your face in one. These also apparently have toner built in them. And what I like is these don't overly dry out the skin. I did kind of have that fear that they would be a little drying, but they weren't. Like I said, I didn't break out, so I know that these aren't super harsh on my skin. And this just keeps the cleansing process a lot more cleaner. I definitely will be using more of the Olay Daily Facials when I travel. Those look a nice little gentle facial in one. And of course, as I usually do, I'm gonna put a link to where you can purchase these from olay.com in the info box. And then you can just use the original cloth to wipe it all off. Oh! Oh! Girl, the lips do while you're at it. These honestly exceeded my expectations. It's just nice to feel balanced after you wash your face, you know? Maybe it's the toner. Side note, when you're done cleansing your face with the cloth, you can actually just rinse the product out and use that to rinse off. So it actually does like the job of like four different things. It will tone for you, it cleanses, it'll rinse. And you know I'm all about multitasking and getting our money's worth, okay? Okay, now we're gonna get this base popping. I'm gonna use something full, full, full spackle coverage. This is the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover. I'm borderline obsessed with Danessa Myricks' Instagram, okay? Just, everything is flawless. Everything is flawless. I've done a full review and wear test on this foundation. If you have not seen it, I will link it here in the video, one of these little pop-up boxes. And we'll also put a link in the description box. Just remind me guys, please. I'm, I'm only human and I do forget to do things sometimes. This is like full, full coverage. It's like as close to a pure pigment as it gets. I'm starting off with about one and a half pumps and I think I'll be Gucci with just that. The product spreads out really nicely. You don't need a whole bunch because like I said, it's like it's almost like a pure pigment. It is a pretty yellow golden formula, but 
It will adjust as I finish out my makeup routine. This is not my final form. I'm going to contour using the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NORS. NORS! We're gonna do something cute. We're gonna go eh, eh. I'm trying to really give you some sculptualization. That's just something I've been doing lately, having fun with contour. Contour is fun here for the weekend. For under my eyes, I'm gonna double conceal, first using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Deep Golden, and then I'm gonna take NYX's HD Concealer in the color Nutmeg and kind of moisturize it up. ColourPop's concealer is a little on the dry matte side. I'm adding some width to my face by really kind of going outward with those concealer highlights. There. Then I like to blend my contour out first with a brush and then I booty blend the concealer and everything up later after that. I just like using a brush first. You hear my neighbors? Why aren't y'all on winter break? I hear a lot of Radiant Creamy Concealer comparisons for this concealer and it's not at all like that. It's very wet. It's a lot more like the, the Smashbox Studio Skin, another wonderful concealer. Not very many shades though, so if you want something similar, just go for the one from NYX. It's really good. As I'm blending out my concealer, I'm gonna go up and around into my eyelid to prep the lids for the shadows we're gonna be adding later. Quick moment of appreciation for how good my skin looks. Like, you gonna make me skip powder, Danessa. But I'm not gonna do that because I would probably get my channel deactivated if you saw what I'd look like if I did not wear any powder at all. Another product from Danessa, her Evolution Powder. This is in the color number two. It's like a off beige color. So as you can see, it looks like that. And I'm gonna use that to set under eye and the middle of the face. I usually just take my beauty sponge and dia, dia, blot and then go right in. You don't want to add too much powder though because you don't want it to get stuck and then it'll get really hard to remove later. Powders are so creamy and so soft. Do the clown face. Get them smile lines. Mm -mm. We rebuked them in 2018. You know, that just keeps the makeup from settling inside those smile lines because you know, life is good and some of us just be smiling a lot more than the average person. I usually use Danessa's really yellow powder. I can't remember the number of it, but I think I'm gonna start using this one. This is probably like as close to translucent as it gets for my skin tone. All right, I'm not even gonna lie. I go in around my mouth, I do. Cause I talk, I smile, I laugh, I cry, you know? Um, I talk crap. This is where the most movement is, so it just, things just break up real fast around here, you know? I'm just putting a little bit of extra, but I'm not pushing it into my skin because I want some shadow catcher for later. Then I filled up my brows with the Anastasia Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. That technique hasn't really changed, like ever, so I figured, why don't we just skip it? Oh, this is such a stunning palette. I feel like this is my second time using it. It's the Natasha Denona Lila Palette. Lila? Lila? Girl, where you at? Which one? This has plenty of pigment for my brown girl. So I'm gonna take this color here. So this color, we're gonna sweep into our crease. All you need is literally to tap in because the pigment is out of this world. But honestly, it's what my chocolate skin needs. Look, I can appreciate the richness of the colors. Now, in order to gain more control of those colors, I'm tapping the color on first and then sweeping just a little bit though. Don't get too carried away now. So much color. So much pigment. I'm gonna top off my eyelid with a bit of a Too Faced Glitter Glue Primer and basically just sweep that over the lid because you know, sometimes them crease colors can kind of take over the show. You want the lid colors to be nice and vibrant and popping. This shade from the palette is almost perfect because it's like a blue tone purple. I'm gonna pop that right onto the look at the color. Look at the color. Susan! Ah, to die for. Do people realize that was like one swipe though? And fill in all over your lips, such a freaking stunning color. Then using my blending brush, I'm blending a little bit of that purple into my crease. She's real cute. Let's take her and a pencil brush. I'm gonna make you a pina here. Okay. So let's get hungry. You know I'm playing football. I don't think I told you, but I'm playing football tonight with Jamie. Okay. I, I, I did say, I did tell you. You didn't. Do you remember when you said you were gonna go out with um, Jade and Angel? I was like, okay, yeah. maybe you did. You remember that? I do. What time are you going? 
You better make that chicken real good to make up for it too. <laughs> oh, sorry, before we do that, before we do that, what you gotta do is take the purple first and hit that bottom lash line. But I do feel like my bottom lash line colors literally is my life. They just get lost into my eyelashes. Like I feel like you can't even see all the detail I'll be putting down here. So yeah, do the purple, do the dark purple first along your bottom lash line. And then the purple is surrounded with that pinkier fuchsia color. So go around it on the outer corners. And then I'm gonna blend it into my outer corner. Using just a hint of this color from the palette, I am blending that into the outer V. I'm obsessed with these Silk Kiss Me liners from L'Oreal. This one is in the color Plum. Okay, it's not purple, it's more like a blue and that is not an ashy hand. That's my translucent powder. So I'm just gonna use this. Bye, they cannot see you, sir. Keep it pushing, keep it pushing. It's tight on me. Oh, okay, so you're just gonna display your ashiness for the world. So I'm taking that Plum liner and I'm hitting my waterline. Oh, okay, so it's blue, but you know, for the purposes of the look, close enough. To finish off the look, we need a tear duct color. I'm gonna use this one from the palette. This is so pretty. I love purple. Purple is just so pretty. So for the purposes of the original look, I don't have any big glittery sparkles for this look, but I do have the Cover Effects glitter drops. These look freaking amazing. I swatched them and I was like, oh, wait a minute now, Cover Effects. Wait just a darn minute. Let's just have a moment just so you can see what they do when you blend them out. Look at how stunning. It's like one of those wispy dual fiber brushes, but for the eye. And I'm gonna be dabbing that on sporadically throughout the eye. This just makes dealing with glitter so much more controllable. Now Lindy added sparkle all the way up like into the crease, so guess what we're gonna be doing? <laughs> You know what, before I get back to that though, lash glue takes forever to dry. So I'm gonna let my Eureka Lash from Lily Lash dry first. Uh oh, if you put too much on, that'll take the shadow off. So let me go back in and fill that pocket in. Ooh, look at how sparkly my eyes is looking already. Ooh! She definitely had sparkles and shimmers along that bottom lash line. So let's hit it. Now we're going to, I'm giving you all of 80s. Like I don't really know what the top half of my hair situation has been doing lately, but it's fine. It's the plight of every La Synthetica. Wigs are just unpredictable. You know, they have periods just like we do. I'm so undecided on my lip, you guys. Like I just don't know what I wanna do. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Milani, what's this? This is a powder. It's their pressed powder in the color Earth Glow. I'm gonna be using it as a bronzer. Skin's looking wonderful, just wonderful. Um, hello, these look stunning. This is a new launch from Becca. The color is Smoky Quartz. It's one of their newest shimmering skin perfectors. I don't want a ton of glow because I don't want anything taking away from the eyes today. And I wanted to test out if the cover effects drops can be used as highlight. I mean, I, I feel like that may be overdoing it a little bit because it is glitter, but you know, I don't mind a little glitter though. First, let's hit the center of that five head. Let's just draw more attention to the largest part of my face. Why not? Why not? Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit of the glitter drops and the highlight. Wish me luck. I have no clue what to expect, to be honest. Oh, okay, so it's subtle. It's not too much. I definitely will be keeping those drops like in my close by everyday drawer because I really like the way these look. These are stunning. Do I want to go where I normally go with it or do I want to just skyrocket and go way out? Like it's between the Fenty gloss or we could do Anastasia Raisin Lip Gloss, which is like a nice plummy color, kind of will pull together a more subtle version, give the eyes the star, you know, give them their moment. I'm gonna first line my lips with Get Lucky from NARS. Hmm, well, that was unfortunate. It's just gonna be more me if I stick with the Anastasia Raisin Gloss. I just want, I just want the focus to be on the eyes. Stunning color, absolutely stunning. Nice. 
So, okay guys, so that's the final look. All right guys, so that is the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed this fun, colorful tutorial, because I know y'all like to drag beauty gurus for being too neutral all the time. Okay, okay, I see you. Don't forget to check out the Olay Daily Facials. Once again, I will leave the info on where you can purchase them down below in the description box. If you are not a part of the Jack Anna family, don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me like that. Come on, fam. Like, I thought it was cool. Now, you also know that since you made it to the end, you gotta check out the next tutorial. I mean, it's only right. I put it right here. I'm popping. My wigs are popping, okay? The Jackie Iron lifestyle is popping. Get with the program and watch the next tutorial. Don't be shy, <laughs> okay? Do what it do. Thank you.